Hey guys, what's up? We're here in my grow closet. Actually, I should have showed. I should have showed my plants. I'm hoarding plants for winter. <laughs> okay, there's the giant carrot. You'd have to watch that video. That's for the carrot competition. We're gonna look how big this pot is. Can you see? You can watch that episode if you want. I'm just kind of hoarding some other uh, plants that I brought in for the winter. Uh, look, there's a jackfruit trees. Wow, that's weird. What am I going to do with them? Okay, anyway, so we're in my little grow closet, little work area here, and we're going to do a project. We're going to see what or how fast we can germinate a seed. Like, you know, if, if you look on Google and be like, and ask Google, how fast can a seed sprout? It'll be like three to five days, but that's not true. I mean, come on, we can sprout a seed in less than 24 hours for sure. So I'm going to see if we can sprout one even faster. So I'll show you what we're going to do. We're going to use a little bit of variety here. So we have radish. They sprout really fast. Cucumber. They sprout fast. Uh, mixed sunflower. Pretty fast. And just because I have them, we got some popcorn and some tall corn, which is like a silage dent corn. So, and what we're going to do is, first thing we're going to do, 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 let me uh, zoom you guys back a little bit here. So, let me, um, let's put the seeds into this little dump container, pouring container, oh, oh, oh. Okay, we have this little bottle of water, and I have it heated up to 100 degrees. Let's see. It's probably cooling down. Okay, Fahrenheit. Um, so this has this has uh, a couple drops of kelp, like fertilizer in it. So Neptune's Harvest Seaweed Fertilizer, which is a kelp. Um, and otherwise, it's just tap water. So, uh-oh, it's already cooling down. We're at 96.9. Okay, that's okay. So what I'm going to do, actually, is let's pour the seeds into this water. Okay. And um, I might heat this up again a little bit while I'm shaking it. So basically for like 10 minutes, maybe five. So for five or 10 minutes, I'm going to shake this. I want that water to start soaking into them seeds really fast. So I'm going to shake this for five or 10 minutes. And then what we're going to do is put it into this incubator. So this is a, a bird hatchery, a little hatching station incubator. So uh, it is at 99.5 degrees. So we will incubate the seeds at 99.5 and I'll check on them after, you know, every periodically I'll check on them and we'll see which one sprouts first. And here, I, I should be shaking this. We'll see which one sprouts first and how quick we can get it to sprout. And by sprout, I mean just shoot a little taproot out. If we see the smallest little bit of taproot coming out, that's technically sprouted. So uh, we'll see. I'll check on it like after, you know, eight hours and see if anything's happened. And then 10 hours, 16, 18. And we'll see which ones sprout first and how long the other ones take. I think the radish will be first. Then the cucumber, maybe. Then the sunflower and then the popcorn and then the uh, dent corn. <laughs> That's just my guess. You guys can guess if you want. Um, I haven't tried this yet, so... Uh, oh yeah, some of these seeds are really sinking. So yeah, I'm going to keep these mixing and actually I'm just going to, oh, instead of setting the bottle in there, I'm going to actually just put them on a moist paper towel. I'll pour them out onto paper towel and I'll just have them in a Ziploc bag in here and uh, wrapped up in moist paper towel. So, but maybe, maybe I'll put tinfoil over them so it blocks the light, but maybe I should put it so I can see them, you know, without opening this. Yeah, that's what I'll do. I'll put them in a, I'll put them on paper towel, but in a Ziploc bag so we can see them. But maybe I'll cover them with tinfoil or something because I think seeds like to be dark to sprout. Some, some seeds. Uh, there's other seeds that actually need light to sprout. <laughs> How confusing. Okay, we'll get back to you once we see, uh, once we see some action. Or maybe I'll take a short clip once I put them in there. Be right back. Okay, I decided for the first, um, hmm, let's see, 
for the first hour, I think probably for the first hour, I'll, I'm going to leave them in the liquid, but I have it in the incubator, so it'll stay at 99.5. Okay, it's been an hour and a half, and look, I have, I covered the, whoops, I'm knocking stuff down. I covered it with a towel and a bin to block the light. So, uh, okay, now we're going to take this out and I'm going to put this, I'm going to dump this into, um, I'm going to dump this on some napkins that are in a Ziploc bag and put it in there. Okay, there we go. Got them all just kind of randomly spread out. I used an orange napkin so we could see the... Tap roots, the tap roots will be white when they come out, so I thought it'd be better to use something like that, a colored napkin. All right, let's pop this in here. And see, now I can check on them. Yeah, there we go. Now I can check on them with, uh, without opening up the incubator all the time. Okay, let's put the cover back on. Pretty soon this grow light will be turning off for the night anyway. Okay, we'll put that back on and the towel back on. Lululu. There we go. All right. Uh, okay, now I'm going to let it sit until we hit the eight hour mark. So I also count. It's already been an hour and a half. So we got to count that soaking time too. So I'll check on it at the eight hour mark and see if anything is happening. Okay, hey guys, um, I woke up really early and I thought I'd check on the seeds and we already have some action. And I started them uh, yesterday afternoon at 1.15. It's 3.30 a.m. right now. Let me take this lid off. It's 3.30 a.m. and there's already seeds sprouting. So that puts us at... 14 hours, just a little over 14, right? Uh, one, two, three, yeah. Uh, 12. Yes, a little over 14 hours. So I actually, I should have checked on it sooner because actually, let's uh, see if I can, if it'll focus. Oh yeah. Okay, so we have the biggest, you know what? I think we can take, at this point, for a seed check, maybe we should take it out of the bag. So we can really see what's going on. Ooh, it's, it's warm. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Okay, here, let's... Oh, okay, this is fine. Um, yep, so we have... I'd say the very biggest tap roots are probably on the small sunflowers. So I think these were the first to sprout. And I bet this these started a couple hours ago for sure. So these these can sprout in 12 hours. They probably started in maybe 11 hours, 10 to 10 to 12 hours. The sunflowers would have started because look at how big the the tap roots are already pretty big. Um, the cucumber, look, the cucumber has sprouted. So see, here's the root right there. Um, and the let's see, let me find one here. The the radishes are also sprouting. Why am I having trouble finding it, though? Oh, duh, right here. Okay, so see... See, this has got a taproot, too. See this? That's a radish seed. So the radishes and cucumbers... Yep. A few of these cucumbers have roots. So the radish, cucumber and sunflower all sprouted in 14 hours. That's pretty cool. That's really fast. Um, it almost looks, I think the sunflower would have been the actual quickest, the small sunflower. See these bigger sunflower seeds like these, these probably take a little longer because the water has to get through this thicker shell. And who knows, this corn probably would have benefited from soaking longer. So let me put it back in because now I'm cooling them down. I might have to do one more test with the just the small sunflower seeds and 
try to notice when they first start poking out, like if it's if it's 12 hours or 10 hours. Uh, okay, I'm going to put them back in and maybe I'll peek at them again later in the morning. <laughs> okay, so it's been four, uh, 24 hours for the first seed test. So you can see how big some of the roots have gotten in 24 hours. Yeah, lots of the seeds have sprouted. And I just noticed the first corn sprouted. Can you guys see it? I'm going to take this lid off just for a second. Uh, I'll point to it. If I can. See right, right there? See that little root sticking out of this seed? That is the popcorn. So corn germination, uh, 24 hours. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll see how long the big corn takes. Uh, should be pretty soon unless it needed more soaking. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And I do have the second test going to see how fast to get a better time frame of when the sunflowers sprout. So I started them this morning and I wrote down the time. So hopefully they sprout within about 10 to 12 hours. Okay. We'll check on them in a bit. Hey, I'm back already. I was checking on the seeds again just a little while later from that other clip. Um, and I happen to notice there is a big root sticking out of one of these big kernels, the silage dent corn. So that did sprout within 24 hours. Um, it was just at a wrong angle and I couldn't see that root sticking down. Can you guys see it? It's in the very middle of the screen and there's a root sticking down. So I just wanted to point that out. Uh, both kinds, the popcorn and the full size corn uh, sprouted in 24 hours. Okay, I'm back. You can tell it's been a little while. Look at these. Wow. <laughs> so I can tell you what all happened. <clears throat> so it's been a few days. I'd say maybe three days. Um, here, let's take the lid off of this. Oh, I love sprouting in this incubator. I've actually never sprouted seeds in this incubator before. I've only used it for hatching eggs. Uh, but I'm going to start using it. Absolutely because it works so great. Look at this, it's funny. Oh my goodness, we have a we have a mini greenhouse with a with plants in it. Should I set these? I'm going to set them out. Oh, I Oh, that's the corn. Okay, never mind. Oh, I feel bad for them. I might plant a few of these in a pot and maybe we can most of them are sunflowers. Maybe I'll just plant this in a pot. And just let it go crazy. See, sometimes I just do stuff like this. So these are my jackfruit trees. That somebody gave me some jackfruit seeds. And look, this pot was sitting outside so long. It's just got like weeds in it. There's grass and buttercups and some kind of, maybe somebody knows what this is. Some kind of weird little running flowering plant. So, <laughs> hey, there's a buttercup blossom. I'm getting distracted. And you can see already from one of the experiments, I put some of the sunflowers that were sprouting, I felt bad for them, so I put them in there with the giant carrot. I'm kind of sneaking plants in. Look, I got butter. Uh, I have a uh, head and chicks. I have like a, one of these rubber tree leaves that's sprouting right here. Whoops, I better not put too many plants in there. It's supposed to grow into a giant. Whoa, distraction. Um, okay, this is cool. Yeah, I, I might plop this whole napkin in a pot and they'll be super, um, what would it be called? There'd be way too many in uh, that small pot, but they might grow little dwarf like bonsai uh, sunflowers. So we might get some little tiny sunflowers and uh, there'll be some corn leaves for side foliage. I just think it'll be funny. Then they won't go to waste. Okay, back to the experiment. So I tried a few different times to try to get a faster sprout than that first time. Um, and I couldn't. So the fastest sprout was actually just happened to be the first time I tried it with the hour and a half soak in a hundred degree water. When I soaked them for less time or more time, the sprouting was more like 16 hours. So for some reason with, with these small sunflower seeds and maybe them other seeds too, um, the hour and a half at a hundred degree water was like the perfect soak time. So I might have to do some more experimenting. That was just what I what I uh, 
what happened when, when I did it. Look at these huge sunflower seeds. These are the giant sunflower seeds that I produced this year. Uh, I'm going to test sprout some. So see, I'm already putting my incubator to use. Oops, I better take, so I'm going to soak these an hour and a half. And then I will put them in one of these bags. Um, I'll have these huge, giant sunflowers available. Uh, you can check the description. I'll have these available if you want some. They're pretty awesome. Uh, they grew like 14 feet and had big giant heads on them. Yay! Okay. I think that's all. Uh, we'll have to think of more experimenting to do throughout the winter because we're going to have cabin fever. We're going to be stuck. You know, I guess we got the grow closet. We could just hang out in here. So, all right. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll just keep coming up with some kind of video ideas. All right. Thanks, guys. See ya.